Hello there, Dylan Francis here. Welcome back to Anarchy Archery. Today we're going to fletch arrows. Um, I've never really done this before. Um, I tried a few days ago with my buddy's jig and it didn't work. Um, this adapter piece I think only holds smaller feather fletchings and veins, so it didn't really work out for the 5 inch feathers that I have. Um, yes, 5 inch. So, I'm replacing these guys, kind of beat up. These are four inch feathers. I'm going to replace them with the red and the black. And here's the new jig that I got from Amazon. $30 Canadian. And I uh, just installed it here on my workbench. It's nice and solid. Solid enough. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we're going to try, uh, try fletching our own arrows here. Stay tuned. All right, first things first, cleaning off these old fletchings. I'm just gonna use my uh, my knife, scrape it off as much as I can. Then I'm gonna be using this goo gone. See what see what see what happens with that. Um, clean them up nice and good, and uh, remove the tip so there's not not any additional weight at the end of the arrow. Let me use the jig. All right, let's do that. So, it's in an angle, just lightly just knock it off. Rotate it, rotate the arrow, I just like rotate it with my thumb like this, and my hand. Cool. Just like that. Still removing. See it there on the camera, it's all white, so it's all glue. Once you start seeing the dark flakes, that means you're cutting into the carbon. So I'm still okay. Cool. Pretty good. All right, let's hit it with this goo gone. So, goo gone. Never tried this stuff before. So, there you go. Kind of shiny. Yeah, there's a little bit of residue left over. And you can see the cloth. Dirty from the carbon. So it's getting things off of it. That's good. Alright. Okay. Ooh, they're shining. Yeah, there's a bunch of residue left over. Got to get that off. Alright. Greasy sticks. Just got to... Fresh cloth. Alright, so after using Goo Gone, and uh, I guess after stripping these, you still see some stuff left over still from the fletching. And they're kind, well, they're kind of greasy. Well, not as much as it was, because so I did wipe it down. All right, well, I'd say they're good. 
keep going. All right, so this jig, I had to adjust it. I had to adjust this piece in more. So this would line up with the shaft. I'll show you. This goes like that. Yeah, so. Yeah, so it's it's all aligned now. The magnet holds this on here. This sucker just twists. So this clampy thingy is where we're gonna put the fletching. And we're gonna put glue on it and then bloop. Well, yeah. That's the gist of it. Let's try it out. Alright, so I wanted to do the color coating I want was like horde colors. So two reds and then the cock feather is going to be black. So start with the red. Cool. That was easy. Okay. All right, so we're using Fletch Fuse. Fletch Fuse. Courtesy of my buddy Frank. All right. Cool. Okay. Yay, yay. Okay, so. All right. Okay. That was it? Okay. Huh. $30 for this uh this jig here, folks, and uh Man bam, thank you, ma'am. It's working. Yeah, leave it on there for a few minutes. Um I'm not the best at placing this glue on the on the fletch, but I'll learn. So I need a couple of them with this sucker, which wasn't the best, the best outcome is for shorter fletching or veins. Didn't work out for me. Okay. That's neat. I'm excited. Let's just wait. Okay, so I'm going to try to release this feather from the this clamp here. Now I think this is what this little this, this little uh, screw does. So let's do it. Just like that. Yeah, so the screw just opens up the clamp slightly so you can just take it off. Very cool. I'm learning this little device. Learning how to use this jig here. Um, cool so far. See if there's any other issues here. Okay.
looks like we're ready to go. A little turn. Put one on right there. Okay, let's see the second uh, second fetching here. So make sure it's make sure they are all seated. Alright. Just like that. Just like that. Wow. <laughs> this is cool, that's working out. Well, let that dry for a minute or two. Alright, let's see if this releases nicely like the first one. Let's turn in this little screw here. Oh yeah! Another successful fletch. Cool. All right. Cool. And just rotate. Hmm. So apparently on the website it said that if you adjust these screws here, you can do. Uh, four fletch instead of three fletch, but I uh, maybe another day I'll screw around with that. All right, let's load up the last feather here. Let's do this. Make sure it's seated. Gently touch down. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's wait a few minutes on that one. All right. Let's see if this uh, has worked out here. Let's release this last fletching screw. Tighten the screw. Releases the feather. Very cool. Okay. It's probably not completely dry, but there you go. Oh my gosh. $30 for this little sucker. Hmm. He's paying like 100, 150 bucks. Very cool. The last thing he's got to do. Put one of these suckers on there. All right, so that is the finished product. Now it's a little heavy on the glue. Looks kind of sh I like it. I like it sharp, especially with the red knock. It's my outlaws. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Wow. Okay. So yeah, I got this jig on eBay, or not eBay, got this jig on Amazon for 30 bucks Canadian. There's going to be a link in the bottom. I'm impressed. I'm going to do the rest of mine tonight. Huh. So that's how you fletch arrows with the jig. Yeah, learning experience for me, maybe for you. Huh. I'm impressed. Cool, guys. Thanks for watching Anarchy Archery. I'll see you guys next time.